First to our top story this hour, Russian missiles pummeled into cities across Ukraine overnight, even amid reports that the city of Bakhmut is set to fall. Kyiv, Odessa and Kharkiv are cities they were hit by a barrage of missile strikes. Ukrainian officials say missiles targeting a much wider range of areas in central Ukraine now. Four people are reported dead in the Lviv region. Well, the military administration is also reporting power cuts for at least 40 percent of residents in Kyiv. An attack is also reported on the energy facility in the port city of Odessa. Well, the latest round of Russian air attacks comes after Ukraine's military said its forces have managed to push back intense Russian attacks in Bakhmut. Or well, despite the Varga chief claiming that the mercenary group controls the eastern half of the city. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, during an interview with CNN, said Russian troops will have open roads for capture or other key cities in eastern Ukraine if they manage to control Bakhmut. He also reiterated his decision to keep Ukrainian troops in Bakhmut. Well, Pentagon chief has said that the fall of Bakhmut would not mean Russia has turned tide of war necessarily. According to U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Bakhmut is more of a symbolic than an operational importance. However, the NATO chief says the eastern Ukrainian city could fall to Russia in a matter of days. Well, Stoltenberg's remarks come as Russian Wagner mercenary groups claim to have captured the eastern bank of the industrial city. Well, for more on this, we are joined by Yehor Brazen, who is joining us, a senior journalist covering international security and defense, joining us live from Kiev now. Good to see you, Yehor. So do tell us more about the situation and more about what you know, if you would, please. Uh, yes, good afternoon. So as of now, uh, we have seen a, a massive airstrike uh, of uh, Russian occupiers uh, on uh, Ukrainians, Ukrainian cities, Ukrainian infrastructure, and uh, actually Zhytomyr uh, is uh, without electricity and uh, there are troubles with heating in uh, Kyiv. And uh, the main aim of Russia is still the same. It's their logic of terror against Ukrainian civilians, against uh, Ukrainians, against Ukrainian population. Uh, Russians uh, didn't uh, get any uh, any strategic uh, wins on the battlefield, and that's why uh, they want to destroy uh, Ukrainian spirit. And uh, okay. this also connected with uh, the operation near Bakhmut of the Donetsk region. Can I just pick up on that there? So you said about breaking the spirit there. Do you think it is more symbolic when it comes to Bakhmut? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, symbolic meanings of Bakhmut and uh, each meter of Ukrainian land is strategic for the armed forces of Ukraine, for Ukrainians. And uh, uh, Bakhmut is our fortress. Bakhmut is our land, and that's why uh, Ukrainians will defend it and will defend it each meet. And why um, the defense of uh, Bakhmut matters? Uh, first of all, uh, we defend our land, Ukrainian land. Uh, the second uh, reason is that um, uh, Russians uh, put uh, their main uh, forces, including uh, mercenaries from Wagner Group, uh, in that area. And so uh, Russians uh, can't uh, have any offen offensive operations uh, anywhere excluding uh, Bakhmut. So they can't uh, have offensive operation, for example, in uh, the Parisia region, in the Mikolaev region, in Kherson region. So they want uh, to conquer uh, the administrative borders of Donetsk and Lugansk regions. 
it's uh, their aim is very clear and uh, it was pointed out by Vladimir Putin by Sergei Shoigu and by other Russian officials and uh, thank you now, so very uh, much Ihor, thank you very much indeed that's all we've got time for today but we appreciate your expertise a tense few days ahead for Bakhmut as you say defending their fortress